Good morning. We're back for Tuesday tidbits of this week. And as you can see, we have a very beautiful quilt behind us. And this one is called Cinnamon Bun. And it is a pattern from Jaybird Quilts. Um, we wanted to talk to you a little bit about Jaybird Quilts today because she has some very unique designs that look like super hard. We call them our Rice Krispie kits. Remember those commercials where the ladies, you know, working really hard in the kitchen and throwing the flour on her face and it just was, it's not as hard as it looks, kind of the concept. And it looks absolutely huge, but yeah, it it's does. 96 by 104. Two. Two? 102. So it's really nice queen size as far as we're concerned, because if you want to roll in bed, you want them a bit, little bit wider. But anyways, so this also used a fabric line from Quilting Treasures. I can't remember what it's called, but we used all one line of fabric. I'm going to try to get you a close up of see what exactly. So they're all the same print. Just all different colors. And this is what the original pattern looked like. So you can see it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But what this quilt, and this is where the, it, it's, it's easier than it looks kind of concept. She does have some rulers that she uses. Um, one of them is, well, she has the Hex and More ruler, the Sidekick ruler, Super Sidekick. This one takes the Super Sidekick, but we're gonna give you an out on that one if you want. So this is the super sidekick. Why don't you put it against Can you the flannel? Well does that work? Yeah. So this is the super sidekick rule. And if you look at this, you can get a lot of shapes out of this. You can get the triangles. You can get diamonds. You can get half triangles with seam allowances added. So it's, it's not just uh, cut out triangles. So basically this quilt, what she has done is you sew two strips together. And in the kits that we're doing, it, you kind of go through and you match up the colors that you want. You do a light with a dark, so that, I mean, you don't want to do a dark with a dark, but it kind of be a little silly. But you are stripping two strips together, and then you're coming in here. Let's use one that maybe is not quite so dark. And you're going to be cutting pie shapes. Those and stupid lights reflect. <laughs> oh, they make me crazy. Here, does it work better if I go down lower? Yeah. Okay. So the, if you think about this being a strip, you're going to have one this way. And then when you flip it to go the next way, you're going to have the dark on the bottom, the light on the top. So you're actually getting, once you get six shapes cut together or cut out, you've got enough for one plate. So really very easy. Now, I, the first part, remember the cutaway? Oh, and then these guys on the side. That's what the side piece does, is that's where you're getting that piece. So that's your first that you normally would just throw away. That you would throw away when you're cutting on the strip. So that's what you get your first one out of. Um, I will say with her quilts, you do have to lay them out. It's not one of those you can just start sewing blocks together. Because if you think about what this, how this quilt is done, is it's done in rows. So you are sewing the triangle onto just half. You're not going to sew the plate together. You're going to do the half. You sew the half with another one. So you basically have a row that you're sewing together, and then you have another row that you're sewing together. And it's really quite simple the way that she breaks it down. A lot of quilts are just broken down to those basic triangle squares, rectangles, and a few offshoots on most of them, except for applique quilts. So I think she's really got it figured out. Now, the one out that we're going to give you on this guy, if you have a 60 degree triangle ruler, an eight and a half works, the 12 and a half would be better, but you still have to do a little bit of figuring. This is still the same shape as what she's using. So you can use it to cut these pie shapes. Ouch, it's, I just realized my reflection is showing in that stupid ruler. Oh, here. Yikes. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> oh, that that's better. better. <laughs> I did not, my makeup lady didn't come today. Well, neither did mine, so. But it's it's the side ones that you've got to play with a little bit because this doesn't have the seam allowance added to it, so you really have to just play with that a little bit more. But if you have this one, it will work for this quilt. Now, we did want to show you... Um, a couple more quilts that she's got. Let me pull this back over here. Oops. Ah! <clears throat> what fell? Oh, that frame. Should have taped these on, obviously. Make sure you can actually come to me. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So this is a quilt that we had made for our nephew. Hi, Greg. And who had the nerve and audacity to move to Florida. <laughs> obviously, he doesn't need his flannel quilt right he now. He doesn't need his flannel quilt. <laughs> 
and this one has been well washed well loved but this was this was a pattern that she used it's called lotus now this takes the hex and more ruler which basically that ruler gives you this shape this kind of gem gem shape to it but if you look at again this quilt you get that gem shape all you're doing is sewing a triangle on and a triangle on and it's i mean she she just puts things together so very well so that you build this bigger triangle and then it's just putting them in, in, in rows together. Um, her stuff has a little bit more contemporary look as you can kind of see. We pulled off some of her patterns, which we're going to have all of these available on the website. She has more than this, but these are the ones that I really kind of stood out. I like this August Star a lot because it takes a jelly roll. So you can start with a pre-cut on that guy and then work, work that in the background and you're good to go. She also has a lot of multiple sizes. Um, this Lotus is the one that we, we showed you with the flannel quilt. So they used a light accent, you can see light in the dark, and so we just used the same thing, the light in the dark, but just with different colors. And then she also has a whole series of the mini quilts, which is she takes her basic ones and just shrinks them down. Excuse me, so that's the mini Lotus. So you can see by some of the other ones, and they're all just broken down. That daybreak, I love that quilt, and I have it someplace, and I couldn't find it this morning. Um, but we did that one in reproductions. It was just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so you can kind of see from these guys, they're not, they look really complicated, but she really has some nice tips. The three rulers, which again, those are gonna be available on the website. Weren't we putting those on sale? No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, so these were just some of her patterns. It's it's one of those things that no, they were these aren't good patterns for beginners. But I would say if you are a confident beginner or if you're an intermediate, you can handle these with no problems at all. The patterns are all the big patterns. The regular full size quilt patterns are twelve dollars a piece. Any of the mini ones, so like the mini lotus, those are only six. So we did do a quilt or a kit for this one. We'll have the pricing on the bottom, but what did we figure? It was gonna be 175? Yeah. 175 does all the fabrics for the top. We also wanna pattern. draw your attention to the binding. Yeah. This was really cool because when we got, when we finished the quilt, we're like, well, okay, what do we bind it with now? We really didn't wanna come up with any color. So you notice we did, we took all of the darker colors and that's what we used to bind it. So it really does kind of blend in with it nicely. And here's a here's a um, word sage words of wisdom from our mom because when I started to sew this, Marty said, "Well, what color are you going to stitch it with?" Because we we do the traditional sew it on by machine on the front and flip it over and sew it by hand on the back. And because we're doing all these different colors, it's like, okay, what thread do you sew? And in mom's words, if you do a good job, it does not matter what matter. color you use; it won't show. <laughs> and I have to say, it really was not hard to do what I did. Well, you can show the back if you want. Well, I want to make sure I got a good part where it doesn't show. <laughs> but anyways, it worked really well. But I did want to just show you real quick with that little sidekick ruler. Because obviously there's multiple sizes. You can, so if you're lining up, you can do the triangle shapes that she uses in a lot of her quilts. You can do the diamond shape. So in other words, I would cut an angle, but you would get... That diamond shape, and again, multiple sizes on these guys. What size did I cut on this? Yes, the four and a half. So you would get that diamond shape working on them too. And those, they're just really not that hard to put together if you're careful. That's all it takes. So anyway, so that is Julie Herman from Jaybird Quilts. If you want something that's just not your average, it really is. Think about if you have weddings that you want to prep for for this summer, this is a great going away to college. And as I said, oh, yeah. she has multiple, multiple sizes in each one of their patterns. So you could do the extra long twin for a college quilt really easily. And if you start on it now, you'll have done in plenty of time. And this is a very nice crossover boy slash girl yes. um, you, quilt. You don't have to worry about, oh, it's too fussy for a boy or right. not fussy enough for a girl. It's just Well, very... in the flannel one, they, I mean, that one was done, or the, yeah, it was done in flannel. So it really worked out well. A lot of these, I mean, you could do just in like shades of blacks and grays, that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Some of these, like I said, do take pre-cuts, so the jelly rolls. So you just have to pick your jelly roll, the colors that you're looking for. But don't don't forget to start start thinking about those things that you need.
for the summer. I think we also might do, because she does not only just quilts in the mini quilts, she does like runners and stuff too, which we used to do in the store. So we may toss a couple of those patterns on too. So take a look and if you need patterns, we're also very happy to work with you. If you want to pick a pattern and say, okay, would you help me with a kit for it? We can do that for you, not a problem. Marty's happy to do that for that's, you. And that's in my wheelhouse yes. with something that I can do. So. Not so much my wheelhouse, but Marty is very that's happy okay. to you do have, that. You have other strengths, yeah. so that's yeah. no problem. So we hope oh, you like enjoyed our, our little tidbit for today with Jaybird Quilts and our little cinnamon, cinnamon or a big cinnamon bun quilt. Speaking of which, I haven't had breakfast yet. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So after we got done taping, Terry and I talked real quick and we're like, you know, we really want them to try this because we really like her stuff. So what we're going to do is on Julie's three rulers, the sidekick, the super sidekick and the hexamore rulers, which you need for her patterns, we're going to give you 20% off this week on them. On the rulers. On the rulers. So the super sidekick normally runs for 30, so that would come down to 24. <laughs> Sorry, I have to look at a cheat sheet. The um, hexamore ruler is 26, that comes down to 21, and the sidekick ruler, this guy, is $20, which would come down to 16. So we will give you 20% off on those guys if it will tempt you into, into using them. And I am going to plug one other thing here. Remember I had told you on this August Star that it takes a jelly roll? Well, I did want to show you, we just got these brand new Batik jelly rolls in from Kaufman. And they would look absolutely stinking fantabulous on one of those guys. So if those, I'm pretty sure those are already on. I love this one. That one's the Summer Zest. Um, so those would really make up well for a quilt like that. So just a thought for you. All right, we're done this time now. Yep, bye.